Financial experts today warned of contagion in Europe's economic crisis as the problems grew on a number of fronts and also went global. The latest report from the World Bank says high-income countries such as Germany, the U.S. and Japan are destined to suffer low growth and that it will take several years to undo the damage done. The report predicts volatility in global economies for several years and anemic growth for most of Europe. The global economy is still rocked by turmoil with uncertain prospects for both growth and jobs, let alone stability. Greece has been the recipient of two bailouts and its problems are far from over with no guarantee that elections on Sunday will resolve the crisis there. The Greeks seem to be voting early with their bank cards, withdrawing 800 million euros a day while they still exist in Greece. The White House urges caution. The Greeks should stay in the Eurozone. Their circumstances will be worse. They will be worse off if, if uh, Greece were to exit the Eurozone. Spain's admission last weekend that it would get a loan of up to $125 billion to shore up its troubled banking sector calmed markets for a short time. But Italy saw borrowing rates shoot up today, a troubling sign in the area's third largest economy, and Germany's finance minister warned Italy to stick to their agreed upon reforms. As usual, Germany is stuck in the difficult position of trying to keep the Eurozone intact without paying for everyone else. We have to make clear again and again that we want Europe and we want more Europe, but I want a Europe where we have a common control and common responsibility in one hand. Today, President Obama spoke with the European Council President and Mexican President Calderon ahead of next week's G20 meeting. The challenge there, they agreed, will be to strengthen the shaky Eurozone and to contain the global impact.